Satnam and welcome. My name is Ann Taylor and it is my honor to lead you in Kundalini Yoga this morning. Let's begin by sitting with a nice straight spine, feeling your body relaxing and yet being attentive at the same time. Sitting bones are connected to the floor. Chin is in neck lock, Jarlanda Bond, tilting the chin forward a bit. And begin long, deep breathing, inhaling as you expand the abdomen, bringing the breath up to the heart center, expanding the rib cage, and bringing the completed breath up to the collarbones. Exhaling, reversing the process, bringing the breath back down, and at the end of the exhale, pull the navel point in. As we're preparing, allow an intention to come forward and rubbing the palms of the hands together as we prepare to tune in with the Adi Mantra by chanting Ong Namo Gurudev Namo three times. Pressing the thumbs into the sternum, inhale deeply. Exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale. And inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Day. Exhale, relaxing the hands down. And we're going to be doing the basic breath series. All right, we'll begin by sitting up with a nice tall spine. The left hand in Gyan Mudra, thumb and index finger, pressing gently, extending the other three fingers out and placed on the knee. Using the right thumb or index finger, block off the left nostril and begin long deep breathing through the left nostril only. Blocking off the right, inhaling deeply through the left. And exhaling through the left. Keeping the inhale and exhale approximately the same duration. Opening up the belly as you inhale and drawing the navel point in at the end of the exhale.
when the mind wanders, which it will, simply notice and let go. Come back to the breath. and switch nostrils, begin right nostril breathing by inhaling through the right nostril and exhaling through the right nostril. As the mind tries to pull you this way and that way, simply notice and let go. And now begin to inhale through the left nostril and exhale right. Inhaling left, exhaling right.
and reverse sides, inhaling right, exhaling left. Inhaling right, exhaling left. Inhale deeply through the right nostril. Exhale through the left. And release the hands down. The final segment in basic breath breath series is breath of fire. Again, ladies, if you are pregnant or on your early menstrual cycle, please substitute long deep breathing. Both hands in Gyan Mudra and begin breath of fire by pumping the navel in as you exhale. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath. Exhale. 
exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale. And one more. Deep inhale and hold the breath. Exhale. And relax, allowing the eyes to close and just be with your experience. Dropping out of the head and letting go into the body and letting the wisdom of the body speak with you. Okay, so what do I mean when I say dropping out of the head and letting the wisdom of the body speak to you? That may seem a little bit odd to some people, but if you think about it, your body knows when to release insulin, it knows when to uh, uh, breathe when you're sleeping, it knows how to keep your heart beating, it knows how to pump the blood through your legs and all over your body. It has innate intelligence. And the body is trying to communicate with you at all times. And sometimes that may be pain, that may be a feeling of expansiveness, uh, but sometimes we just get locked into our head in this modern world. So by releasing the thoughts and just surrendering and trying to go into that state of release, we're able to just be in that resting space where we're not thinking, we're just being and experiencing. And so for the next uh, Kriya, which is the physical part of the class, we'll be doing the Kriya for elevation. And this uh, systematically gives the energy spine and also circulates prana or the life force energy to all of the chakras. We're going to begin with ego eradicator uh, by putting our arms up 60 degrees, shoulders are down and relaxed, elbows are locked, fingers are on the pads of the hands and the thumbs are extended. Chin is in neck lock and we'll begin a powerful breath of fire. And let's begin. I will time us.
Excellent. Keep going. Focus your mind on your breath. Inhale deeply, touch the thumbs overhead, spread out your fingers, apply root lock, pulling up the muscles of the pelvic floor and squeeze the energy from the lower spine up to the crown. Exhale, keep the hands up. One more, deep inhale, apply root lock, Squeeze the energy from the base of the spine, stretch, elongate the spine. Exhale, excellent, and slowly lower your arms down through your magnetic field or the aura. Eyes remain closed. And just be with your experience for a few moments. And now placing your hands on your heels, grabbing the ankles for spinal flex as you inhale forward and exhale back. Opening up the heart center on the inhale. And rocking back on the exhale. The movement is generated from the hips. The head stays relatively stationary. It's not bobbing up and down with the movement. And coordinate the breath with the motion. As you inhale forward, exhale back. Find a pace that works for you if you want to start slower. Again, listening to your body. Is it tight? Is it pinching? By all means, slow it down. Take responsibility for your body. Excellent. Keep it going. If your mind is active, try to mentally vibrate the sat on the inhale, nam on the exhale, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, silently. Truth is my identity, sat nam.
Inhale deeply, suspend the breath, apply root lock. Exhale. And allow the eyes to remain closed. The default position during the yoga practice is to practice with eyes closed, of course, unless you need to take a look at how the posture is done or to check in and see if you're doing it correctly. And I try to demonstrate to the best of my ability or I'll let you know when um, I, am, I too am modifying a position. It's okay to modify a position and then work up to the full position. All right, so. The next exercise is a spinal twist, and that's going to exercise the mid area, the heart center, and the spine, the mid spine. And we begin by placing the arms on the shoulders, fingers in front, thumbs in back, elbows are up so that the, four, the upper arms are parallel to the ground. And so you know, we don't want to hunch up, we want to keep our shoulders down and relax. Chin is in a slight neck lock, and the head moves as you inhale and twist to the left, exhale to the right, and let's begin. Mentally vibrating sat on the inhale, nam on the exhale. Finding a nice rhythmic pace. If your mind wanders, come back to the breath, and you know it will. It's okay. That's what the mind does. As we practice the meditation muscle of noticing and surrender, noticing and surrender. Inhale, center, suspend the breath. Exhale and relax. Placing the legs out in front of you, 
for front live nerve stretch. Raising the arms up, exhaling, keeping the feet together. Begin long, deep breathing. If you're able to put your toes into toe lock by wrapping the index and middle finger around the back of the big toe and pressing the thumb into the nail bed, do so. If you're only able to come down to the shins or the knees, allow the yoga to meet you where you're at. Continuing long, deep breathing. If your mind wanders, once again, simply notice and let go, coming back to the breath. Keep breathing deeply. Don't allow the breath to get shallow. Inhale deeply, exhale, release the posture as you bring your right heel underneath your buttocks, extending the left out and try, the goal is to get the heel into the peritoneum area. That's the area between the anus and sex organ. Okay, and now in this, um, exercise, the key points, the checkpoints are to keep the spine straight as possible and the chin must be in neck lock. The eyes are open and they'll be gazing over the toe. You'll feel a pull on the optic nerve. As you begin breath of fire. It's more important to keep the back straight than how far down you're going. So if you need to do this, do that.
Inhale deeply, suspend the breath, apply root lock. Exhale, hold the breath out, apply root lock and lift up the diaphragm. Inhale and switch legs. So when we're lifting up the diaphragm at the end there, that is the central bond uh, or lock of the body. So you'll when you when you only do that on the exhale. So when the breath is out, you can pull the muscles and lift up. So you'll you'll form like a V-shaped cavity. That is the um, that's that mid-range lock. Okay, now we will do the other side. So placing the left heel in the peritoneum. Again, inhale deeply, exhale down. Eyes are open again, gazing at the big toe. Chin is in neck lock and begin a powerful breath of fire. Again, as the mind wanders, simply notice and surrender. Coming back to the breath, let go. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath, apply root lock. Exhale, hold the breath out, root lock and diaphragm lock. Inhale and relax. So as you're practicing, you'll notice that the thoughts continue to come. And that's not the problem. They will come. That's not, you can't really control that. But what you can control is whether you're, you allow yourself to grab onto that thought. And that's the way most of us live in, in the modern society. We'll grab onto the thought. We'll renumerate. We'll spiral it. We'll replay it. What should I have done? What should I have said? What could I do? What do I want to eat? I mean, whatever the cycle is. But once you just simply notice, okay, I'm in thought again. Don't beat yourself up. The key is notice and let it go. Notice and let it go. And that's the idea. Because just with practice, whether we're on the mat or you're in the car or you're wherever you might be, as that cycle of thoughts start, not just when you're in yoga class, but also during the daytime, just simply notice and stop. I don't need to be rehashing that scenario again. Let it go. 
It's not to say don't plan, don't, you know, reflect, but it's that obsessive pattern we want to get away from. All right, now, this is a wonderful one. And stretch your legs wide for life nerve stretch. If you are more flexible than I am, your legs will be further out. If you're more flexible than I am, you will be able to bring your heart center down to your thigh. Uh, the toes are in toe lock. Again, if you're able to take your two fingers, wrap them around your big toes, and the thumb gets pressed into the nail bed. From this position, or wherever you're at, inhale deeply, turn to the left, exhale down. Inhale center, exhale down. So if you are flexible enough, you can keep your toes in toe lock the whole time. And, and again, I can't quite demonstrate it, but I think you get the idea. All right, and let's continue. Exhaling down, inhale center, alternating sides. This not only develops further flexibility in the lower spine and sacrum, it also helps to energize and strengthen the, your magnetic field, which is critically important to health, well-being, and transformation. That's what Kundalini Yoga is all about. The art and science of transformation. Coordinating the breath with the motion, exhaling down, inhaling up. And now inhale, center, exhale, down, center. Inhale, center, suspend the breath. Exhale down, hold the breath out to your maximum. Inhale and come lying on your stomach and completely let go.
And now place the hands underneath the shoulders and inhale up into Cobra and begin a powerful breath of fire, trying to keep the shoulders down as much as possible. Inhale and slowly come out of the position and back into easy pose. And now let's begin neck rolls, starting with small circles, rotating the head. Continuing moving the energy up to the higher centers now. in reverse direction. And inhale, center. The final exercise is Sat Kriya. So come into rock pose as we prepare. The mantra is Sat Nam, Sat Nam. On the Sat, we pull the navel point in. On the Nam, we release it. And if you have a pet, don't discourage them from being part of your practice. They love, they love being part of it. At least this one does, my little Portia. All right, so interlacing the fingers, extending the Jupiter finger up or the index finger. Crossing the thumbs, ladies, left thumb over right, men, right thumb over left. Getting the polarities right, okay. And over the head, lock the elbows, shoulders are down and relaxed, and follow my lead. Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam. 
Satnam, 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 Nam Sat 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 Nam Inhale deeply Suspend the breath Apply root lock by pulling the muscles of the pelvic floor up and squeeze the energy from the base of the spine to the crown. Exhale, hold the breath out, apply root lock and squeeze. Inhale deeply, suspend and apply root lock. Exhale, hold the breath out, root lock. Inhale, suspend and pull root lock. Exhale, hold the breath out and apply root lock. Inhale, gracefully relax the arms down and come lying on your back for deep relaxation. Allowing the eyes to close. The arms are by the sides of your body, palms are up and allow every muscle to let go. 
Don't be tempted to use the restroom or go get a glass of water. This is the harvest time. Allow the body to make its minor subtle adjustments as you now let go.
Inhale deeply and begin to bring your awareness back into the room, making small circles with your wrists and ankles. Stretching your arms out over your head. Arms out to the side for cat stretch. Bringing one knee across the body. Turning your head the opposite direction. Switching sides. and rubbing the palms of the hands and soles of the feet briskly together. Grabbing hold of the knees and carefully rocking up, rocking on your spine a couple times and come sitting for a shorter meditation. as we just allow the eyes to close. Hands in Gyan Mudra. Just allow the breath to be normal. Just be with your experience of the class. Following the inhale of the breath, I am breathing and exhaling. I am exhaling. Or simply inhale sat and exhale nam. Inhale deeply, exhale. And now rub the palms of the hands together as we prepare to close. Exhale. Placing them at the heart center, inhale deeply. 
exhale and inhale to close may the long time sun shine upon you all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. Thank you for joining and I hope you have a wonderful day.